So, got a Kaiser in a box. It is a Kaiser Amicus. 2.9 inch blade, HCR or 9CR 18 MOV blade, JG10. And it's a button lock. And so I'm kind of semi excited for this one. And uh, I kind of clowned on this MMP. So because I did, I'm forcing myself to run it on the bench a little bit. It's actually, I stropped it and it's actually wicked sharp. So, I don't know. I mean, it's not my cup of tea, but I didn't need to clown on it. I sort of implied, like, I don't know, something that I shouldn't have. It's just a knife, man. There's a knife for everybody. Just might not be for me, but, you know. Okay. Yeah. I'm excited for this one. I saw it and I thought, man, that thing's right up my alley. If it's the right size that was represented in the pictures, I want one. And uh, I think it was. What's it called again? The Amicus? I'm going to read it one more time. Yeah, Amicus. A-M-I-C-U-S. Cool. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this little dude here. Some bearings. All right. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, I don't know. Somebody's paying attention. Because the G10 that's coming out, people figured out, I think, that, hey, we don't need it polished, man. You don't got to run it over a sander. How about you... How about you cut it so that it's grippy, like like really grippy, and this is, and it's translucent, so I'm digging that, because, you know, I got a project coming up, man, I am going to be trying to turn some of this, this light, natural green G10 into purple scales, and this would be one of them. All right, let's look at this thing. Okay. Yeah. So you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the Brat. The Integral. Yeah, this action is stupid. And the simplicity of the button and the handles. I mean, like... It, I mean, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Look at that action. Sick. All right. Let's not, uh, let's not prolong this. Let's chop this thing up and uh, break it apart. Ooh, must have some Loctite going on. Yeah, I mean, must have a lot of Loctite going on. Yep, yeah, somebody give it a good, a good dab, full show. All right, looks like some T6s going down back here. Yep, and these little barrel spacers. One, two, buckle my shoe. I mean, that, that pivot pin was tight enough. Well, there's quite a bit of Loctite on these, too. All right. So the spring went flying. That's all right. We've got a pretty confined space. We'll find it. That's pretty much a part. They nested these little metal liners, and then the rest is just the G10. And it's, it's skeletonized big time, which explains the really light weight of this knife. Let me find that spring. It should be right below me here. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. 
So, and this thing is super light. They um, pressed brass inserts uh, for these screws. Is that, I'm, I'm assuming the pocket clip is reversible. It is. Yep. And they inserted these brass threads, which, I mean, you know, until it fails, you know, you can't really complain about it, but it's not, it's not the most stout design function, that's for sure. Um, I would just, me personally, I'd recommend not removing that any more than you have to. The badging on this blade, we didn't really look at it, but it's got amicus on this side. The Kaiser logo on this side. And they created this swedge and then they smooth ground this flat part and transitioned from the swedge to the flat grind in a really nice way. Like this, this, this sanding on this blade is exquisite and it's the whole blade. Like they, they ground that in and then they sanded this with, I don't know, thousand grit maybe. I mean, it is really attractive. Nice job. All right, keep going. Pretty simple right there. And there. Yeah. I mean, I, I definitely one of the words for this knife is simple. But I like simple sometimes. I mean, I like extravagant too sometimes. I mean, all you got to do is look at my cowboy boot collection. I've got some good ones. Mm, I think that's it. Yeah, let's put it back together. Focus on the important stuff. But this is an example of a really simple designed button lock that is easy apart, easy to gather, easy to clean, easy to maintenance. Mm-hmm. Easy, easy, easy. And everything is built right, built well. The sanding on this blade, come on. Caught my eye. And, uh, ooh, hold on. Caught me gawking at the blade. Need to get my bearing on. Or get my bearings. Man, I've been meaning to fill this bottle for a minute. I need to get it done. There we go. Yeah, this thing, it didn't need any help. The action on it was stupid. I mean, it's, uh, it's going to be an A+, plus unless I ruined it. Yeah, because it was, it's just stunning how good it is. And that button, I mean, the simplicity of it, I, I really like it. Like, this is... I gotta capture that, that pivot pin. There it is. Money. Money, dude. Yeah. Okay. Couple of T6s and done with all this nonsense with screwdrivers and stuff. Put 
put our hands all over this thing. Caress of steel. I mean, caress the steel. <laughs> I'm going to check these pocket clip screws real quick. Yeah, that one took a little bit of a turn. That one too. How about this thing? Nope. This one? Yeah, a little tiny bit. A little tiny bit. A little tiny bit. Let's check that pivot. I think I'm a little tight. Maybe not. If I don't have blade play, I'm going to leave it be because it's drop shut but I do believe I'm a little tighter than I was when I took it apart yeah maybe I'll take a little bit of it. yeah oh thing closes violently hard now all right get it cleaned up and I do intend to I'm gonna I'm gonna take a run at the scale now I I'm gonna try it on I've got some other knives that have g10 on them that I don't favor as necessarily as much so I'm gonna practice there see if I can get it figured out doesn't look too complicated um, but yeah this would be one just a bright royal purple. That'd be awesome. So this action. I mean. It's an A plus. Like if I got 40 knives in my top 10% out of 400 with the best action. Then the top 10% of that is like 4. But let's just say the top 10. I mean. Golly, it'd be hard to bump this one out of a top 10 spot. It just runs so well. And firm. It does remind me of the Brat. The Brat is pretty stunning as well. I really like that Brat. And, I mean, confession, but that Brat has gotten some serious pocket time since I did the review on it. I just keep finding that one and going, mm, yeah, come on. Come on with me. Get in, my, get in the pocket. Let's go. Yeah, I like this one a lot. The action is just mm, wonderful. Ergonomics. So, yeah, take a knife with excellent action and back it up with wonderful ergonomics. So this thing is a four-finger knife for me, but I'm packed in there. But that's where I want to be. I want to be packed in. I, I want to utilize the handle. I don't like having a handle way out here. This one's tucked into my palm, so it adds an extra level of locked inness. Like if it was another half an inch long or an inch long for sure, it would go past that part of my palm. Well, because it's that length, it's just tucked in. This thick belly right here up into this finger guard. It's got this jimping on it. I mean, I am really locked in there and then this jimping on the back of the spine is aggressive goes way up there I mean so you can pinch grip this and hold on I do think you can kind of choke up and up in here and a nice light grip with uh you know fine work or whatever um but this grip right here is very confident it's up at the top man I, I mean, golly, this thing is just uh, check the box, check the box. And then this, this sanding on this blade. Come on, man. Wow. I actually was working on some of that in my shop today. I was running on my big, bigger sander. Um, I was running an old pop metal box cutter and and sanding all that and polishing and now here i am this evening looking at how they've sanded this knife 
because that that's what I'm doing is I'm investigating different grits and how metals respond to it. Uh, I will say the one thing that I noticed was how heated up it gets the metal. So, yeah, I'm not really sure. I mean, there's got to be a lot of water dipping and sanding and water dipping, and I didn't do none of that. But anyways, I digress. Let's get back to this knife. Let's check this pocket clip. Get over the thick stuff, and it's going to be money, I'm sure of it. Ooh, not, yeah, a little bit of manipulation, but then, yeah, it just runs wonderfully on the thick pants. It's got a good grip. I can already tell you, though, I'm going to have to take this clip off and tighten it. Yeah, it's just not, it's not stout enough, and so I like the knife enough. I know it's biased. I know, man. I know. But it's because I'm digging this knife so much, I'm going to... I'm going to get busy on it right now. Showing favoritism. Yeah, guilty as charged, man. I, I like it, so I'm, I'm paying a little extra attention to it. If I don't like it, it's not going to get the extra attention. Get a helmet, man. There we go. I mean, I mashed it good. Let's put it back together. I'm going to let you ride that out with me. It's not recessed at all. It's up on the surface. So um, I'm just going to get that back screw started. You know the drill. When you change it like that, because of it being tilted up now, see how that front's tilted up? Man, if you try to go with that front screw first, you run the risk of stripping that screw because it doesn't bite enough thread and, you know... And so the safe play is start at the back. Do that back screw first. Because it's down on the scale. You can see it's down on the scale. So it's got lots of thread to bite. Well, look at what happened. I mean, I ran the back one and it sucked the front down. So now the front one's a piece of cake. But you don't want to you don't want to start with that front one cuz you run the risk of stripping it out. It's too far away from that scale. I mean, so maybe 90 seconds didn't take long at all to deal with this. And now I can't even lift that clip. That's how much tension I put on it. Let's try it on the thicker stuff. Yeah, so on the thicker stuff, it's going to hang up because it's not a recessed pocket clip. It's going to hang up right there. But did I sacrifice that to make it run on a good pair of jeans? Yeah, look at it. I mean, and I mean, I could get put in a dryer and tumbled, and 10 minutes later, you pull me out, this knife's going to be right there. And this is where I really want it to be. If it'll run there, it's going to run here. Yeah deep no knife showing just a nice attractive clip and super tension it's going to be where i put it when i go looking for it yeah so love the clip let's check it for safety get rid of tools again all right we're really done with tools now this time for good so can i touch that blade nope can't get it there how about the tip no, nope, it's recessed in there enough that it's hidden. Nice. So the clip's good. The blade contact's good. The tip is good. Love it. I wonder if it's sharp. Yeah, I mean... Super duper sharp. Yeah. All right. So, price and availability. White Mountain Knives is a go-to on this knife. They, they, I mean, their listed list price is like 60 some dollars, but they've got them on sale for, I think, $48. And so, with a 10% discount, which that code's down below, you can pick this up around $43, $44. That's shipped out the door. And, uh, I mean, I, I'm just going to say, man, I really recommend this knife. I really, truly like it. I'm not pimping it. I mean, 
White Mountain Knives don't pay me nothing. That 10% code that I'm giving y'all takes away any opportunity for me to be an affiliate there. So, I, hey, when I when I tell you I like a knife, it's just because I like it. There's, I, it ain't, there ain't no other reason for it. I like this knife. So if you can look at this and say to yourself, I mean, maybe, here's what I'm going to tell you. You should get one. You should get one because I, I guarantee you, you put this in your hand and if, if, if form wise, you're looking at it and you think, yeah, I kind of like that. I just don't know how you, you couldn't like it once you got it. All these edges have been managed have been milled and smoothed over. Everything here is really done well. Now, it's 9CR18, whatever, it's stainless. Um, is it 20CV? No, but it's $43. Yeah, I dig it, man. This is, this is probably one of my favorite knives of the year, really. That brat, too. I like that brat. Good job, Kaiser. Man, I'm digging what you got going on here. I really am. Really amicus. I really like this knife. So, I appreciate y'all watching. Thanks.